Boom, let's go, Ignite. Oh, sorry, Johnny. You don't even know what episode it is. That's why he looks like that. Welcome to episode 24 of the Mainly Wrestling Show. <laughs> I'm Jack Milner. She's wearing the same hoodie. She's listening on Mayda. And John is stoic as ever in a PKO $50 tournament on the machine there. We are here to look at did we have no way out 1998? No way out of Texas. I think this is one of the first um, pay per views I managed to record off Sky Sports 3 at 12 o'clock in the morning <laughs> back in the day. Where 1 a.m., brother. That one as well. Where basically the entire show was built around um, Stone Cold getting his hand on Shawn Michaels and uh, Shawn, no showing up last week. <sighs> My back's just not really right. It's actually the 20th anniversary of this week of Sean losing his smile. So, you know. Oh got a bit of, leave him alone. Just leave him alone. <laughs> He's got a bit of previous. But, oh. um, JJ, we've, got, we've just got the Dynamite ratings through. You didn't even see the show last night. Are you, um, what are your thoughts on AW at the minute? Because you're normally Mr. Positive. Um, I, I woke up this morning. I was pretty tired anyway. And I was like, should I sit here and watch this for two hours? Or should I just go back to bed for a couple of hours? Because I've got a couple of hours in the morning once I drop the kids off at, at nursery before I have to start work, right? You've done in the group chat at like half eight. Yeah, I just I just read the results. I started watching, I maybe watched like two minutes, and I was like, there's nothing on this card that I'm excited by. Like, I had some bets on some stuff. I just wanted to see if I'd won or not. And so I just read the results and went back to bed for a couple of hours. I don't know, man. Like, there, there was nothing exciting. There's just the same, like, four storylines that have been going on for so, so, so long. Like, MJF versus Brian Danielson, cool. I'm looking, uh, the match will be great, but there's there's no advancement, like, acclaimed in a match against, you know, some people teeing them back up again. Can, can I... Like, Ricky Starks v Jericho has been going on for it. Like, it's just like, okay, like, there's there's nothing, there's no advancement. I, I really feel like it's, there's a problem of this four-month gap between pay-per-view. Go on, Jack. If you had to... Inject, inject, um, revoke your rematch, re- revoke your rematch clause. Why would you do it in a, in a four way tag match? Why would you not? Just There's pick? no rematch clause in AW, it doesn't make any sense to me. No, they said in their interview, we are choosing to use our rematch clause, but what rematch doing, clause? And we're going to do it in a revolution in the four way tag. So, what? <laughs> but the, because... the whole concept, the whole concept of a rematch clause pissed me off anyway because it's like. Hangman Adam Page lost everything he he had. He lost all his friends and he lost his title. Why wouldn't he have just gone for a rematch clause? When Jericho lost his title, like one of the biggest heels, why wouldn't he have just invoked his rematch clause? Like, since when has there been a rematch clause? I'm so confused. And now it's just like, yeah, for the acclaimed rematch clause. Guys, 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 guys. You, okay, you you have arrived at a place that I used to be and I'm very happy that I've, I've moved past this part in my life because it is exhausting. Do not, I repeat, do not try and apply logic. <laughs> no, but, that's don't. A, but, I, but I feel like that's the WWE thing. Whereas in yeah. AEW, there's always been a bit of consistent logic. So for them to put something like that in there, it's frustrating. Because like, I feel like AEW more often than not treats its viewers better. like adults, right? They're not like, here's what happened five minutes ago. And then five minutes later, here's what happened 10 minutes ago. Like seven stuff in their they they... they Except that, you know, you watch the show, you enjoy the show, you take things in and they, and they kind of drop things in and it makes logical sense. Like the Wardlow thing, like I thought that was that was really well done with um, him talking about his, his yeah, top knot and stuff. Anymore, cool. But like, like that's the kind of thing that they do. So for them to just go out of nowhere, oh, there's a rematch clause. When? Like, when the fuck does that happen? It's just, it's, it's frustrating. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I read I read the results. There was nothing too exciting. I honestly, I watched it with most of, most of the time it was on mute. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Do you know, I never thought I'd say these words. I miss Jim Ross. Just me. You do, don't you? I miss JR. Well, because you have the three, the three yes man booth going on. Too pally, too happy for my liking. I want to see more like, anger. There needs to be, I don't care. There needs to be at least one person. They don't even have to be all the way heel, at least in the middle. People don't appreciate how good JR the King and Vince were as a three, right? You had the 
the sports and I thought guy like JR Vince was like the well goddamn pal that's a suplex and the king was a guy who always shown the heels it worked brilliantly yeah. now we've just got three guys who are just really happy to be there yeah. happy to be there and it shows like that shake brother I don't still know. has an element of pill, but he's just too likable. Who? Like Taz, but he supports MJF and so like he he always like speaks up for him. Taz, like but Taz but... when he when he's cheered on the heels, it sounds like he's doing it just to pop the boys like I know. Shivani, you can't yeah. say that. That's that's very mean. That's that's just not very nice. Someone's just throwing a beer over him. Why are you being horrible? I just feel like Taz was a good heel commentator in TNA he... or Impact, whatever it's called. Um, was, any, was anybody watching then though? No, but like no. I'm just saying, and then like back in the day, like I loved Taz and Michael Cole together. I really yep. did. Mm-hmm. I I enjoyed them so much. So you know he can do it. It's not his fault. It's because of the direction that he's getting. Is it, would it be fair to say that um, JJ is is Papa H cooking right now? Because I mean. AW no. in the mud, right? No, he's got he's got one good storyline. <laughs> That's it. Can I show you the second good one? Well, yeah, yeah, you can. This is this is. Fun. I can't believe you've it's, not seen it's, this. It's, it's entertaining. Oh my god! Like this. Oh is... my god! Can I just tell you? So for you weeks me. now, with the whole Dom thing, like we have not wanted to like Dom, and I'm speaking for me and Jack. I'm I still don't want to like him. <laughs> I still don't want to like him. But, I mean, he's getting better. It's just because we don't it, – it's been a very long time. Think of, think of how good WWE's developmental is. We haven't had to watch somebody get good in front of a camera in a long time. So it has been painful to watch, but it's improving. It's the fact that right, he was thrown into a spot, right? He, sh- he shouldn't have been in. Elements of David Flair, right, in 1999. Like, what's he yeah. doing here? But – He's very lucky he's with somebody as over as Rhea Ripley because this right. wouldn't work with anybody else. Bah, Not right. me. Go on then, Jack. Run the footage. Roll the tape. Roll the tape. Do it. Roll the tape. Okay, let's have a look. I know, I know you made wine in prison, but now we're going to have some good wine, okay? <laughs> Forget about prison. Okay. All right. Make sure you get all this. I want you to record my first Teardrop. Valentine's Day. Listen, Listen. Teardrop. One night without cameras, Dom. Gang. Okay, okay. Don't like the film. Hello, uh, reservation for two under uh, Mr. Wow, who's she? I'm sorry, there's nothing compared to Rhea. Um, what do you I mean, mean, nothing compared to Mammy. The reservation was for Rey Mysterio, correct? That Molly is looking well, tremendous, by the way. His lovely wife are seated right over there. Not his lovely wife. Not. Oh yeah, both face of the camera, WWE style. On Valentine's Day, you decide to ruin. Just sat there in a restaurant with a mask. Who sits like that? <laughs> in the mask. <laughs> huh? Kefir, brother. Excuse me. His mum's trying not to laugh there. Yeah. Yeah. Why is he having the drinks? Hey, we don't want to ruin your They're done. Mommy. Back it up. We'll give you our dress with Valentine's. Valentine's. Wish I could say the same. Have a good night. Yo. <laughs> See, I told you it was gonna be a good Valentine's. Mom is laughing so hard. Thank you. Where's the waiter to get all He's not cut out for the fact that shit. Uh, JJ, the, the, the next bit's cold. Can you get this out of Sorry about that. Where am I helping this? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Can, uh, can you bring me your most expensive bottle of champagne and your finest chicken fingers? Sure. And hold the ketchup. <laughs> I do not. Ranch. ranch? We want ranch. Beautiful. Yes. Cheers. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Because <laughs> the guy was walking away. <laughs> Three hours later. Actually, pretty good. The teardrop, no man. Just take a 96 yeah, all over again. <laughs> almost broke my he went to jail. Oh, yeah, it's just perfect. Did he? Did he? Hard time, Daddy. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Uh, Dom, he went to jail. Mammy wants him. Mammy wants him well, well looped up. She's gonna have some fun later. Yeah, we're still on. Okay. And uh, can you put oh, the video tab? Sure. Appreciate oh, it. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's your unauthorized user on that account. Are you sure? Sorry. Wait, what? Yeah. You know what? It's okay. it's okay. I got it. I got this. Yeah. Big man. Grab my wallet here. I can't believe you're actually making me do this. It's ridiculous. It should be on the account, but... Exactly. 
Why do you want to take away my dessert too? Yeah, no. Come back quickly, please. Ah, uh, excuse delicious. me, I'm sorry. Uh, your card what? was declined. Declined. A, declined. Sorry. Are you sure you're running it properly? Are you sure about that? Positive. I'm so sorry you're about kidding. that. You're kidding. Unfortunately, I'm not. <laughs> Interesting operation. Why is the police in? Don't, don't, don't. I got. You know I'm the defaulted man on TikTok. I gotta go. Do you know, I'm a big deal on TikTok. Take this idea too. Bad, bad girl. JJ. John, the chicken fingers with, 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 the, with the biggest pot Vanish of me. Bottle of me. <laughs> well, your funny champagne and chicken fingers. Yeah. Dom, He's Dom still a child, spice. really. He's yeah. still a he child. Is. That's the joke. Yeah. But I think they've done well, right? Because everyone was like, he's fucking terrible in the ring. He can't speak, and he's just gone. All right, let's just lean into that. Like it's actually genius booking success, and he's the uh, yeah he, one of the most been... entertaining things. And, and and the people around him, Finn's been whatever to be fair, which is surprising because I loved Finn Balor when he, when he was on NXT and first came up to the main roster and won the title. But Rhea uh, and Priest remember that time? So much fun. So yeah, long ago, never happened Balor, again. Right? Like he, he he had an amazing run in NXT. Went up to the main roster, won the title, and then just got like a horrific injury and has never hit those heights again. Did I read right that he got injured within like six weeks of winning the belt, and then Vince? It, it he, he, he got injured weeks. in 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 the title match, right? Oh, right. Yeah. But it was I read... against Seth Rollins. He got buckle bombed. I think I think this is right. He got buckle bombed. He won the title. He's safe, like, if you ask me. He'd done his shoulder in. He carried on the match, won the title, and then the next night on Raw had to be like, I have yeah, to, it's it was like. <laughs> Yeah, it, no, it was no a shocking thing. Here. And that was like when they first split the belts. Yes. Yeah. What a time. He was, what, he was the first Universal Champion. Yeah. Or, or, or close to that, yeah. But I mean... SummerSlam? Anyway, whatever. But, I mean, the room was, if if you get injured, so which is weird, given, again, I, I hate to go back to Sean, right? But Sean got so many chances... If 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 you get injured, Vince this is loses. Two times tonight with Sean. I'm not going to take a third. I'm not. Buddy, there's going to be at least four more tonight. Give the main event. <laughs> but the room, if Vince sees you as like not being up for the job, that's it. He loses. Like it happened to Kevin Owens. Happened to like uh, Finn Balor. Bray Wyatt's had the same treatment. God, I'm so pasty. Um, but but yeah, that, and that, and that was it. That was him done then, right? Up until Judgment Day stuff with Edge and is it isn't Finn Balor supposed to be the leader of the Judgment Day? Is it no, actually it's Rhea? It's Rhea. It's of definitely it's Rhea. Rhea. I think I think that, that was the idea when Finn joined was that he was going to be the leader, but it quickly became Rhea. It's Rhea. Do you see the comparisons to China, Lissa? Do you think they're valid? No. It's completely different it's just a, because it, a woman's a bad doesn't mean that they're, they're China. Stupid. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, John. Like I didn't, didn't say I agree with him. No, no, no. Yeah. I know. I'm it's asking like, your question. You can't have a woman that's slightly different without comparing her to somebody else. It's like why can't she just be the first Rhea Ripley? Has that ever been like a goth version of Lissy Almeida? Oh, I was definitely goth. Are you kidding me? And Peter hated it. He's like, he's like, you make yourself so ugly. <laughs> we played cricket with like a guy called Tio, forty-eight year old Nigerian guy. He was telling us yesterday, like, you wouldn't believe when I was when I was a kid, my father, I got ninety percent. Why didn't you give one hundred? Yeah, this is and he, he I it's was playing. I was playing football for Nigeria for the national team. He snuck in. He was so ashamed. He couldn't accept <laughs> the fact I was there. He couldn't tell me how well I did. Like, Tio, man, you need counselling. Oh no, it's fine. I'm I'm okay now. It's no, okay. he's all right. I drink, he's all I drink right. a lot of whiskey. It's okay. Like, it's just it's just how like. African parents, like, they love you. And it's so funny because, like, outside, 
they will show off about you like mm. all the all day all night and but like inside they're like you got a b that's not i didn't raise you to get b's don't give you a big head <laughs> like what first time yeah, i did I, my I guess uh, that's part of it yeah but yeah like did... my on. dad hated it with the goth stuff because like you'd have like the sweatshirts with like the hole right here and like for the thumb like, i had it <laughs> yeah like um i wouldn't wear i i never really wore like a lot of makeup or anything i didn't know how to do makeup back then anyway but like just the way that i would just like wear my hair like up in like a tight bun or whatever like or the the pants yeah, the black nail really polish big, dark nails oh my god so we we actually the, uh... weren't allowed to paint my paint our nails that was that was a conflict the chain hanging from your side yeah the keys peter yeah. hated that okay <laughs> Like the 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 pants that were dragging on the floor and they could yeah, get yeah, like, yeah. like it would it, they would hook under the shoe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he'd be like, "You look like a bum." Two thousand seven was my again, in love with Haley Williams, Aramor yeah. Stan, Ring of Honor is life, studded bracelets and wearing. Ugh, I'm not one for jewelry, right? But I was wearing the sweatbands, wristbands. Oh, two thousand seven was a dark time for Jack Milner. But it's um, just, no, I was out. I was kind of out of it by all the skulls. Yeah, you're right. I went through two goth phases actually. Oh my gosh! I actually one had when a, I was like those, twelve. Wrist, ugh, I had a wrist bump with skulls as well. This is like PTSD. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! I went through. I went through two. So one from age about twelve to fourteen, and then fifteen, sixteen. I started to be a girl. Um, and like, that was around the time that like, I had stopped watching wrestling for a little bit, like, you know, we dark times. Um, and then around, I think like you're saying Jack 2007, like 17, 18, that was like the second revival of goth stuff. And that's, that's when it was really cool. So you weren't weird. It wasn't, it was in vogue at the minute. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, John, if you didn't go through a goth phase. Can't, can't relate or sorry. JJ's still going through his goth face. Look at him. He's wearing a black hoodie. He's still got the sweep across. <laughs> he's still got, yeah. Will you stop? By the way, that, uh, 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 phase, but, whoever yeah. is running the Gorilla Monsoon page on Twitter, I adore you because you are. Twice in a row, you're getting a shout out from this hilarious. guy. Hilarious. Bobby Heenan cameos. I just makes one. I wish Bobby Heenan was alive in 2023 because he'd him. be so funny. I love Bobby. Bobby, <sighs> like the thing is though, they had their show. When you think about it, he and Gorilla, they wrestling didn't have, was them too, right, yeah. They had their show, but like for them to be able just to go off script and have like a podcast or whatever, like <sighs> can you imagine? That was the biggest podcast in wrestling. If Bobby oh had, God. you know, if if he was twenty years younger and and was alive now and healthy, two people, Dusty Rhodes, Bobby Heenan. Nobody else has come anywhere close to that podcast. Yeah. No one oh. can. No one could talk like them. Yeah. To, anyway, to go back to your point earlier, Lizzie, about you know parents not being able to really show affection. When I did my first TV interview in like twenty thirteen, oh, 10 years ago, I read my dad up straight afterwards. Like, how was that? Eh, not great. He talked a bit quick. You got this horse wrong. Turned out afterwards, he rang everyone up in the street. Do you see that? That was Jack on TV then. Not oh, bloody hell. I've got it recorded on Sky Plus. You can come around and watch it. And I'm the Dad, what is it? Eh, not great. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. eh, not great. <laughs> you, you can do a lot better next time. Oh, do right. better next time. No, 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 there's always next time, son. And he's ringing you around like you cheeky bastard. Yeah, that's them. That's them. Help it's a brother like out. That. Dad's. Okay, guys. We're doing that's, our best. That's the that's the platform you and I have put here, JJ. I mean, at least your dad watches when you're on TV. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Shout out to Big Dave. Not the other Big Dave, but... Anyway, we're going to watch WF No Way Out from 1998. <laughs> from It's the 25th anniversary this week at No Way Out of Texas, February 15th, 1998. This is, Lissy, the famous interview where The Rock would start Showing undertones that he wanted to take over the nation. Let me just watch, let me just track this because this interview is probably the most famous rock interview of the '98 before it became. I was gonna say probably well because he wasn't 
giving his rock style interviews yet. Not your opponents, but in recent this, by the way, this is my favorite rock fight period. In the nation, I, I desperately wanted Ken Shamrock to win the belt right here. The nation tonight, and I guess the best way to find Look out at Michael Hayes standing in profile in 1998. Well, it's a good First of all, Michael Hayes wasn't even that old. You're just begging me to whoop your ass, ain't you? <laughs> Oh. That's a meme. Now, you know what? Now, I don't know who you've been talking to, but it's obvious that you hadn't talked to me. I pulled there you go. That's the eye roll. And everybody better remember that. When I say fall in, that's exactly what I mean. Now, I'm going to show you tonight when I say fall in, I'm going to make Ken Shamrock, DOA, Ahmed Johnson, and everybody else fall in right behind me. Well, speaking about falling in, you guys have had your fallouts with the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Even Dilo. Look at Dilo in the background. Went through Love Dilo. Look at Mark Henry in the back. Venus just happy to be there. You guys have perpetrated on Ken Shamrock happened last week on Raw is War. Take a look. Now, Rock, look at the velocity you... Man, oh! Ken Shamrock took some sure serious chair shots you know, in the early night today. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. The most dangerous man. Look at the rock. The most dangerous neighborhood. Do you think that mean anything to me? No, I've got another story. For that's, you. The gif, that's the gif. That's the gif. Yeah. That. We stand for. When I say kick anybody's ass, I mean by. This is like you. when your dad is talking and you're just like, shut up. Like that's what he's doing. Look right at now. the rock at the end. I always remember I got a. Uh, Detention for standing on a chair at school. Are we hitting play? Eventually. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna click for play now. Go ahead, go <laughs> no, ahead. I didn't you were know standing... because he started playing. I don't know what. I don't know right. where you're going. Standing we're on a go chair to the in school. Event. Go on. You got the thing. Two or six ten. God bless the thing. What were you doing on a chair in school? Did you think you were black? Have you heard Bruce Pitcher? The nation wasn't a black thing. Owen Hart was in it. <laughs> and we stood up but higher than everyone, so I just did the We are the nation. And my, my my teacher, who I was like a teacher's pet with him, but he was a bit hard on me, Mr. Millington. He was a big big wrestling fan. He told me, Jacob, did we have to sign Jericho? Game changer. Look on the website. Didriff.com yeah. takes five minutes to load. Five minutes. But yeah, when I on Speaking of right, how is how is Road Dog's hair acceptable here? Where are we? Oh, like, where did, are you? Did what, you, what you press mean, play where? and we don't know? I said, are we pressing play? And you two or six fifty nine, two or seven, two or seven oh one. You got to tell us when to press play. I did. did. did Jack, <laughs> Jack, we've tip? been doing this show for almost two years together, and you've never just gone into a segment without saying we're watching at three, such and such two. on here. <laughs> Lisi, right. how do you find it on Peacock? Come on. All right. In, in that case. Lacking. Okay. Get out. Am right. I wrong? What's going on here? No, you are right. We're going to pause and go back to the start. Okay, guys. Pause. I'll, I, I'll... I feel like this is like the dad version, right? I'm going to turn this car around. I'll take over. We're watching No Way Out 1998. If you have the network, find it on there. If you're on Peacock, it's very easy to find No Way Out Season 1, Episode 1. There's only one for the year. Anyway, No Way Out 1998. And we're starting at 2.06 and 10 minutes. So, sorry, 10, 10 seconds. seconds. <laughs> oh. uh, Press play in 3, 2, boom. 3, right 2, 1. She already did it. Oh. She already pressed play. <laughs> Let's see. All right, here three, we go. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Just allow it. I was reading a message from the mom Here. from earlier. Okay, Jack, where are you? So we'll we'll go to where you are. Due to water's oh, going early. Somebody. I'll be I'll be I'll be pooping on the way out. What's that happened? Right. To mo- Can I just say, is Road Dog's hair acceptable here? It's what? It's really never is been Road acceptable. Dog's hair acceptable here. That's exactly what I was saying two minutes ago. Oh, no. Like it's for a man of. Joke. It's 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 very Fuck close. You, JJ. It's on the border. It's like borderline cultural misappropriation. Okay, um, in 2023, would this be acceptable? No. no. Back then, it was already pushing it. Who the hell are the Tennessee Oilers? So Titans? I'll tell you. So I'll tell I'll tell you who the Oilers were. They were the Houston Oilers. And I think he's trying to get some heat because they left Houston and they moved. Cheap heat, brother. Cheap heat, brother. Yeah, I'm with you. Can you explain the like headband around, headband around his forehead? 
gang. Oh, gang I see. shit. Right. Gang. gang shit. Yeah. The West Side, oh, right? No. Team Tupac. Hey, yeah. It's not this. <laughs> it's this. I can't get. Like, I had. I had. I've got a broken hand from rugby. I can't do that. With Can I hands. tell you, like this? First of all, I have no knuckle on this side. Yeah. Like, Wait. Is so, that like, right? Is that Snoop this... Dogg? Right. Look at. I broke Snoop Doggy this... Dog. I broke this finger. It hurts like hell. Never went to physical therapy. It's not going to bend in a few years, so I can do what I can right now. I know the feeling. (laughs) Oh, my God. Anyway, so the Tennessee Oilers are now the Tennessee Titans. Is that right? They're the Titans now, yeah. Right. So why did they change their name? Well, because they were the Houston Oilers because it's oil in Texas. Right, okay. By the way, can we? how great do those tag belts look? Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! Those are the OG. No tag belts will ever look as good. I as those. love the game's intro music at this point. Oh, what this a time! DX. No, it's a, it's a different one. I thought we were going with uh. JJ, what time are you on? I'm on two o eight fifty fifty one fifty two. You break it down. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I've caught up with you. Great. I hate a Triple H. I hate a Triple H this time. Is that really right? Oh, no, it's trying. Why? Because I love Owen Hart. I love Bret Hart. And I hate the fact that yeah, DX are yeah. dicks to all of them. If you remember, WrestleMania 14, it was um, Owen v Triple H for, for the European title. China in a cage. Slaughter, like, Watching it, she broke the barriers, whacked him, low bloods Owen, and he won. I loved their, I loved them versus Slaughter when he was the commissioner. Remember, yeah. like, why? Well, I just didn't find them funny. You heard it in your, like, you brought that from down here. You're like, hey, I hate them. Wow. Papa H, get to fuck. They were, what are you talking about? First of all, they were hilarious. They're still hilarious. So there's that. What about when they? I mean, when they still try to do the same humor at age forty, like. Ugh. No, I mean, like, you... okay, on, on Raw Triple X, as John called it, like, they kind of it was it was nice to see them not do their usual thing where they're like, I'm retired. What? L- listen to this pop. Savio Vega. So they advertised a mystery partner. All day. That's no, the Godfather. That's not the Godfather. Dead. <laughs> That's racist. Um, <laughs> it's like when everyone thought that um, everyone thought that Sasha Banks was coming out, and it was just Tony Storm. Yeah, that was stupid. Anyway, if it, so so Shawn Michaels. Wait, it was Shawn Michaels? It was DX and the New Age Outlaws against. Uh, but that, that's the WrestleMania matches, right? It was the Outlaws against uh, Terry Funk and James or Charlie. Triple H, Owen Hart, Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels. And Shawn, on the day of, decided, like, yeah, my back's not up to it. So, um, they brought in a mystery partner, or they announced a mystery partner all evening. Um, and then it was Savio Vega. <laughs> it's like, okay, much love to Savio <laughs> Vega. Not... Do you think they just didn't have an idea of who to do, and they're just looking around catering like you? That That's probably what happened. It was basically right. So Savio Vega and Stone Cold um, had great matches in '96, '97 when when Steve first got to the company, and this match is all about Austin, right? It's try and make him look at the shirts in the crowd. It has to make Austin look good, and Austin always said he had a great chemistry with Savio. So fuck it, they've already bought the pay per view. The show sold out. Stick him in. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we don't have to do anything too major. I know, it's just like, you would think that there, I don't know. This is fine. It's just so weird that, like, Terry Funk is 50... 57. 58 here. And he's got pantyhose around his head and he's coming out wielding a chain, so... What a guy. No, he wasn't 58. He was probably early 50s. Nope, he was 49 at uh, um, 
in the in the matches with Flair in eighty nine in eighty nine. Can I ask a question? Of course you can, darling. Does gin and orange juice go together? I've never drank it together. But I can't see why it would. I mean, I know gin and juice, but you know, what's the juice? Orange juice? Yeah, he was forty four. He was turning forty four this year. No, okay. Fifty four. Sorry, fifty four. I'm sorry. Because that's what I think I'm going to make. No. So. I got gin, but the only mix I've got is juice. Yeah, if you've heard the song. I've heard the it's... song. I just didn't I didn't know, you know, is it orange juice? He doesn't really specify. Who's yeah, he? Snoop, can... help me out. I think you can do it. Okay. Jack, it doesn't matter. You don't know who they are. Who's there? Jack doesn't know who Snoop Dogg is. Snoop Doggy Dog, of course I do. The West Side stuff. He says... First of all, you saying Snoop Doggy Dog is all we need to know. All right. <laughs> he's, he was only 45 in 89, yeah. So he's he's still 53 here, Jesus. That, JJ, give us a time check. We are at, the, the glass just shattered. I mean, is that? I think that's all you need to know. I always remember there's a sign in the crowd that which says, like, hear the glass and that's your ass because Stone Cold said so. Wow, that couple was making out to Stone Cold. Like, yeah, I don't wow. know. What it's that as good a time as any, right? She's just come. <laughs> those are somebody's parents, guys. It's are you turned on by me, right, honey? Yeah, sure I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honestly, where did he come up with the pantyhose over the face? Like. Is it just being like an axe murderer type of thing? Yes, like I reckon. Bank robber? Jack, what are you doing over there? He's Don't doing the same cold pose. You know, you know. haven't you haven't done Matt Hardy yet today. <clears throat> he doesn't warrant any time going forward. I, he gets nothing. <laughs> Go I'm sorry. I'm done with my Hardy. Let's press. Oh, this is who my childhood. 50, who would pay fifty dollars for this main event? I just don't get it. An eight man, really. Someone. Um, a lot of someone's. But yeah. JJ, people bought that thinking it was going to be like a big surprise. Mm, it's all a bait and switch. So, of the people in this match, yep. only Billy is still wrestling. Uh, no, Chainsaw Charlie's still wrestling. He's no, he's unwell. He's in. Terry's got Alzheimer's in all people's home. Uh, well, you know, brother, uh, can always have Would one you... more run if. Uh... No, he can't. Hold on. No, he can't. I can't, I can't, I can't out, out, out of died. people who've had a match in the last twelve months. Stone often. Cold. Yeah. Stone Cold's there. If you call what he had at WrestleMania a match, yes. It was a good match. It's a great. Not the like bit, but. You know, it was fun. Yeah. It was, you know, when Undertaker did those, uh, not those, that uh, theatrical match mm -hmm. with AJ Styles. Yeah. That's what I consider the match between Stone Cold and Kevin Owens. Theatrical. Stone Cold took a bump on the outside, man. Like, yeah. It was, it was better than I expected. I thought it was just going to no, be. No, it was better than we Seth, all expected. I thought it was just going to be Seth Press, Donna. Mm -hmm. Like, don't pin him, it, pick him up again. And it was long. Pin him. Right, it, it was a good, like, no. 10, 15 minutes, right? I mean, I don't know the exact time, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Billy Gunn's wrestled in the last 12 months. He wrestled yeah, last so Billy night! Gunn, yeah, Billy Gunn and... Um, Did they ask him to talk about that? Like, I, watched, I watched the Hangman match, because I'd bet on Hangman 20. Again, JJ, Hangman under 11 minutes, 5 to 6. Fucking hell. Okay. How have I not had more on that? Under 11 minutes? Yeah. Oh, sorry. He was facing Kip Sabian, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 right. Okay. I think I hate Kip Sabian more than I hate Matt Hardy. <gasps> what is what is his gimmick? What the fuck? Oh, he the wears a box on his head. No, and he's, he's a... British, and he's British. He's from Listen, if you're from Folkestone, go go. Hold on. Okay. What type of hot wife? One at a time, guys. Go ahead. If you're from where? Folkestone. Folkestone. What about it? It's like a place in Kent. It has a race course. There's nothing there. Nothing. Like, I remember the British Bulldog, right, was from a place called Wigan. 
So he, he was described as being from Manchester or Leeds. The big city. Embellish yeah. it. Take the piss. But keep saving, man. How does he have a job? How? Who I'm is going to go make some gin and juice? I was going to oh. say something really bad then, and I really want so. No, what were you going to say? Who is raiding his wife to to get him a job? Oh my god! I know. What we're, we're so Jack bored, Milner, it? and then you still said it. I tricked you. I know you did, it. but I mean that's we. I mean, Jay and I had to explain to you what a hot wife was. Well, I just assumed that it was a woman who's someone's wife who's hot. It's a woman who's someone's wife is getting extras. <laughs> oh. You've never you heard know, that before. Sometimes, can I tell you something? Like, yeah. I'm like... You're quite naive, I, yeah. I think I'm a little on the naive side. Innocent. It's so funny because, like, yeah. I have a ton of common sense. Like, I catch on to everything, but, like... You're very streetwise. In a lot yeah, of things, but, yeah. like... With like little phrases and stuff like that, I'm just like, oh, I've never, maybe I've heard it. I've just never paid attention. If someone has a hot wife, she's getting looked after elsewhere. There you go. Oh, yeah. So I will not describe myself as someone's hot wife one day. I mean, you yeah. were a hot wife at one point, but you know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not that type of hot wife. <laughs> that, that clothesline by Austin on the outside. This is the peak of like ninety eight Warzone on the PlayStation and like the Attitude game. Austin was just he had his he had his gimmick sort sorted and he was loving like he would um JR would take him off like loads of house shows and he went I've not worked nine years to get to this point where I am not gonna be missing. Put me in the main event of everything. He absolutely loved it. Mm. Look at Terry Funk. You know what, though? <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> the way Terry sells, like, honestly. Who was I watching the other week that sells like that? Look at him. DDT, right? I've, I've watched this match a million times. When you have. When I had a, a certain VHS of a wrestling show as a kid, I would watch it like literally 50, 100 times. Oh, yeah. All of the early 90s stuff, I just know it, like, from end to end. Well, we should watch some of it one day. The things that I enjoy. New ge- some new generation... <laughs> some, what, new generation stuff? No, we can even... We can watch from WrestleMania 6, you know, the first WrestleMania where Hulk Hogan didn't win. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. I'm really ill. Uh, JJ, we've really? been discussing hot wives. I heard, yep. Yeah. Do you have a hot wife? I do. Is Nicole a hot wife? She is. She is a hot wife, not a hot wife. <laughs> it's all in the phrasing. <laughs> Where's your hot wife right now? I'm an idiot. I don't know, but that's part of the fun of being with a hot wife. <laughs> you might might get a video at you know two a.m. Oh my you know, god! What is happening? Okay, Cactus Jack, Chainsaw Charlie. Oh my god, Jack, are you okay? I'm just a bit on the weather. Oh, oh this was sick. Oh. Chainsaw would say that like, he'd been shot. Tremendous. I've never seen somebody shot, but you know. It's a 50-something-year-old like, body. He's middle-aged and crazy. You and know what? my sleep for another 20 years. I was going to say, my even guy. today... If he didn't have the condition that he currently has, I feel like he would still be wrestling. He's one of those people that I think he would just wrestle till he dies. And and Jeff last week when he wrestled to Keshta, he sells like Terry Funk back in his prime ten years earlier. Oh. This is delicious, by the way. Gin and orange juice. Amazing. Oh, okay. I'm glad you like it. Look at you. It's a national treasure. Down with the down with the kids. With kids. Down, down with the homies. Shout out for <laughs> one's homies. The kids, like Snoop Dogg, who's well, like 50. He's literally 50. <clears throat> yeah, I'm down with those kids. Those kids. Yeah. I'm as high as, yeah, all those guys. <laughs> oh, look, I, know, uh, what? I was <laughs> somebody, somebody said, like, Jackie, keep going on about that. I, I was. 
so again, I, I'm now in an office with people, generally mm-hmm. young guys. So when I watched the Brit Awards last week, I actually knew who some of the people were for the first time in about four or five years. Well, congratulations. I know. I think, oh, look at me. Hip and... Who did you who did you know that was there? Um something banks. Sasha. No. Azelia. Azelia Banks is is referencing. I don't know. She's quite good. She's a good singer. Azelia um, Banks, yeah. No, I don't think it was her. No. Who who else did you know there? Um there's like a white rapper who won an award. He was a bit like Eminem, but a more camp version. Bit Eight, like, yeah, yes, it. Like, it's, bit, it's a bit like Sam Smith. I'm sorry, right? I know Eight I'm an old man. Great. I can't. I Sam you. Smith just, like, what the fuck's going on there? Dress, dresses Next like topic. an topic. Next topic. Yeah, dresses please. like a weapon. Yeah. Please, please, please. But, yeah, um... H, is, H is a little cutie. Yeah, mm. I love him. Mm. What? Yeah. He's, ve- he's very, very good. I just, yeah, uh, yeah I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I know. Not hip hop, not RB, rappers. Not a big fan of rappers, clearly. Unless they're quality street. One for, the, one, for, one for the dads out there. Wow. <laughs> Look at Lissy's face. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, name one more person you knew, and I'll be proud of you. Um, I mean, everyone knows Stormzy. That doesn't count. Uh, he's, Man United. he's a Man United fan. Um, <laughs> Harry Styles. Yeah, just... Dress is a bit too quirky for me. Um, the girl that won some awards, Becky, not Becky Lynch, Becky. <laughs> oh, Becky, right someone, there. Becky. I don't know her name. She's called Becky. She dance. She raps like a chav from South London. <laughs> <laughs> What's Becky she called? Hill? Becky yes. Hill. Becky Hill. <laughs> I'm trying to think who you could be talking about if you're not talking about Azealia Banks. I don't. I I Black don't... girl, American rapper, or is this a British? She's person? English. All right. Who? Miss Banks? Are you talking yeah. about Miss Banks? Yeah, I think her. Oh, okay. I don't even know that one. How oh, don't you know Miss Banks? I love her. Um, because how would I know her? Because you're British. You just said you know her. <laughs> it's okay, Jack. We're proud of you. You watched the Brit Awards. You know what's oh, funny? I, really, I hated it, though. I really just... don't. I don't watch any of those award shows. And I think I'm, like, the only girl that I know that doesn't. Like, I have, like, a group chat with, like, nine girls that we all work together. And during all those shows, like, they're always, like, going back and forth in the chat and I'm just like I have no idea what's going on but like I see stuff on Instagram so like at least I'm informed but yeah not my cup of tea yeah it's just a bit like false fun isn't it that type of thing I feel like I don't mind it if you're I mean if you're in a relationship and you live with your girlfriend or a wife you that's like something that you do you watch those things together yeah and judge and be very judgmental and everyone's dress sense and attire and yeah, you have to yeah. watch the red carpet. Yeah. You missed the hot it's target, by the way. Chaos. Very, very hot. Get no credit for being on the show despite being really ill here. It's okay. Don't worry about me. We love you, Jack. You know that. You want a medal? But you could have you could have Amy here. Oh, who's the girl? Um, Lissy. No. <laughs> we can get someone else in. Lissy, what was the witch called? I don't. I don't know. The one that thinks you're a. I don't know. I don't call her her name, so I don't. You guys call her witchy. <laughs> I don't call her that either. I don't know. She's got green hair now. I think. Hmm. Ask her if she wants to come chat with us. <laughs> Ask her if she wants to come and cast spells. <laughs> she probably cast a spell on us. She probably you probably jinx us, didn't you? I'm gonna stop your engagement rates. Don't let don't let that girl near us. She'll take your toothbrush and take hair out of your hairbrush and shit. Do <sighs> zoo on you. She might have even blocked us, I'm not sure. 
her crystals are charging on her on her balcony as we speak. Goth, yeah, yeah. Goth. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember the name, but yeah. Anyway, she wow. was she was going to be the uh, next one in, didn't she? But she was too busy. It was a big night for the witches about six months ago. She was too busy. The other ones pass her prime. <laughs> These people, though, they express their interest. Like, you, you, we are so appreciative of you, Lissy. Because so you're saying, right, I'm here. Let's film. Like, what day? Thursday? Okay, that's good. Yeah, but I, it's because you guys are my friends. That highest quarter was 938. Wow. Jesus, yeah. that's bad. Yeah. Jesus, that's bad. What did I, did I have Q1 to beat Q8 or something? I think it was minus two thirty, and that won by two k. Oh, really? <laughs> if you got minus two thirty, it was nine three eight versus seven ten. Um, I don't know what max. What what are you guys talking? Is this Rafa? The quarters for dynamite. I feel like Rafa needs to come on this show. Rafa, this is your your call. Pick up. Official invitation. Come on here and talk stats. Right. Stat guy Rafa. That's what I'm calling him now. I've just asked him. Fucking hell. 7 10 for the last quarter. That's so bad. That's so bad. I'm trying to work out the elite versus the elite top flight. What? Oh, Adam Page versus Kip Stadium. He dropped by 11%, like quarter on quarter. <laughs> I'm quite annoyed because I was really considering back in Q2 for the worst Q to Q. And it was, and I think it was like 9 to 1. Um, oh, it was 3 to 1. My bad. Right. Anyway. I, wait, what, <laughs> I, I can't work out. There's so many messages in this group chat. I can't remember what I backed. You should be noting it down. It should be on the spreadsheet. Oh, anyway, there's a match going on. Is there? Barbed wires out around Cactus, yeah. Are you calling this a match? I'm not calling it. I love Savio that Savio Vegas has the gloves on. Listen, Savio, I really love that he did this because he said, I'm not about to mess my hands up for you with this True. bullshit. Say he's, he's savvy. <laughs> huh? Get out. You know what? I'm not even mad at him. Like, Who wants to cut themselves all up for that? Get out of here. Leave that for Mick Foley. I'm not paid it before I do that, exactly. <laughs> 40 pounds on the 90. I can't believe Greg, Greg actually owes me money for once. It's tremendous. Um, wait, uh, Excuse me. Do you, you know we ha we're we we're filming here. I know you check it, your winnings, but... It's not winnings. I think I've lost. I'm, I, <laughs> Even worse. Oh. Cactus Jack has taken the brunt of it here. Let's see, last week, last week was a around day. his head and has taken chair shots to the head for fun. And body. Gone. The acclaim losing the tag titles was was bad. Are you sad about it still, or did you get over it? Q one minus two fifty versus Q eight. Um, no loser. Q one minus two fifty. It's a loser. Oh, fuck off, JJ. Well, the tides have turned. Jack, you lost. <laughs> Do you know what? Two this three we... eight two two eight. Yeah. Okay, enough on the on the numbers. This time when Road Dog and Billy with the matching attire didn't work. Didn't work. Don't know what the hell no. they were wearing. It looked like some Native American uh symbols on the side of their pants. They took a while symbols. to kind of like Joe. find their Look at the spot, hot tag you know? by yeah. Austin. He's taking everyone out. Oh, Stone Cold style. And you've got JR on the call as well. Going crazy. I'm seeing a Fez press pretty soon. I really got a feeling. <laughs> JJ, give us a time check, please. The time is 2.31.57.58.59.2.32. He's stomping a mud hole and walking it dry. Yeah. Did you turn it off? No, I, I, was, t I was seven seconds ahead. <laughs> okay. This is the Fez press. On a stunner? Big stunner. How did that not get it's the job so... done? It did. Oh. 
Wow, it's that's such an anticlimax. That's the pay per view. Oh, okay. sells this well. Going to throw around stunners for the next four minutes. Like, how was really that? A great I don't know. Okay, fine, fine. I just work here. I thought I just... there was like four minutes left. I was like, oh, that's not the end then. But it yeah, was... it just didn't even feel like it. It's amazing. That's a two-hour thirty pay per view. You don't see wow. those anymore. You, you should would do, not though. find that on TV these days. Cannot. JJ, have you seen the um, cult culmination with China here? No. Do you what not mean? follow us on Twitter? Or the Facebook? culmination with China here? I don't know what that means. The afters with China. Oh. Please. In this match? Oh, right, no. Okay. Did we post this recently? We. Yes, I did. He got 2,000 likes on Twitter. Checking this. Like... It it's actually annoying, sorry Jack, when people say, Oh, everybody's on their phone, not a phone in sight. There were no phones. That's the joke. Like, but even now, okay, fine. Yeah, she's already used it once so tonight, used... but I'm doing it again. I know, but like everybody's just so used to being on their phones. Like it just is what it is. It's okay. It's just a joke. It's not a joke. It's a very good joke. Tell you know what though? Thing. So like it's those if Facebook this was... pages who are like, who remembers jam on toast? <laughs> <laughs> you can you can make jam on toast. What about beans like, on toast? That's, that's still allowed. Who remembers <laughs> jam on toast when you came in for playing when you were a kid at six pm for tea? Fuck off. Go make jam on toast if Fuck you want off. jam on toast. Stop off. sharing like, it on you... my page. You're fifty five. You can still make jam on toast right now. It is still yeah. available. Yeah. Go in the cupboard. It's there. Gin and juice, jam on toast. What a time to be alive. What a combo. You know what? We might be on to something. John, what did you think of Dude we have No Way Out to uh, 1998? Well, I only saw the main event. It's uh, fine. You there saw a great promo by The Rock. A bit chaotic. The wrestling was irrelevant. The promo by The Rock and the afters of Stone Cold in China were the only thing of relevance. But that was WWE in 1998, WWF, I should say. It was a star-driven industry, as it still is now, in fairness. Yeah. That's why that's why AW is in the mud. Yes, darling. What was on, I know this, we always say what was on the other channel. I know they don't have, they don't usually run pay-per-views on the same night, but like, how was, you you know this, how was WCW doing w. it? So WCW just ran Soul Out 98, which is an all- NWO pay-per-view, which was really shit. Sting had mm-hmm. had just won the belt from Hogan. Mm-hmm. And it I don't know, it got held by something. That's when it started to become murky, right? 98 was and then they, they, they then they gradually split into the wolf pack and the black and white. And so it wasn't that good over there either. They were still doing really well, ratings wise. But it, it was, was just, they'd lost a lot of direction in terms of, everything was built around Sting beating Hogan for the belt. Yeah. It's Sting! And then, after that, yeah, Bischoff was just too busy trying to do deals in Hollywood, right? If you think four, five months later, right, Goldberg, Goldberg beat Hogan for the belt in the uh, Georgia Dome with very little build-up, very little fanfare. When that should have been a pay-per-view main event, and they started panicking when I think Austin McMahon, which was the tenth of April, I mean two weeks after WrestleMania, that was the first time uh, they won the ratings in eighty-three weeks, and then after that, ninety-nine, in ninety-eight, the ninety-eight, and then WrestleMania Austin, fourteen. Oh, Yep, and Austin, after he beat Sean two weeks later, it, uh, maybe two, three weeks later, it was Austin versus Man built throughout the entire show. Uh, and then they beat the rate, the beam in the ratings for the first time in 83 weeks. And then Austin got so hot in the spring of 98 that that was it. Game over. And then you had The Rock in the wings. You had Triple H coming through. The new you had Triple H coming through. You had Undertaker. Solid, almost there for ten years at that point, and the rest is history. And yeah, sure. I mean, I suppose every feud then has like kind of a story behind it. Ken Shamrock was there, great with Owen Hart. I think uh, Owen Hart, Steve Blackman, 
Dan Seven had their own little mini series, didn't they, in the middle of '98? You had the Rock and Triple H for the IC title. Uh, Dilo was a Euro- Dilo was a great European champion. Dilo Brown was tremendous. You better recognize. I can't even do it. Like I get a headache when I do it. Like, the, the Outlaws were tag champs. Oh my god! How does someone's neck move that much? I mean, it, phenomenal. Ninety eight was a, a weird time, but they had Austin. I like, say, I just saw a photo of Steve Blackman mm-hmm. this week, and he looks great. Steve age but is. He was. I didn't realize yeah, he yeah. was such a. He was absolutely jacked, and then he got like some disease that eats away at your colon or intestines, and he lost like It'd be half like his that. body weight. Yeah, and he had to it really is... graft to get his, himself back up. He's he's still handsome. He's doing his thing. Your cup of tea, or who's Steve Blackman? Yeah, Steve Blackman. Well, these days maybe. <laughs> yeah, like not, we, not, age. not Papi, Mammy. I thought you went for black men, not black men. This is don't discriminate, does she? Actually, do you know what's funny? Okay, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> The guy I'm currently dating is actually right, and and that was episode twenty four of the mainly wrestling man. show. We'll serve the tea afterwards for the after party. In the meantime, he's been John Jacobs, she's been Lissy Almeida, and you can follow Coastal Championship Wrestling at. Go on, plug, plug the socials. Oh, it's CCW Live TV, and we have Game of War this weekend. Two big, rings, big one cage. cage. Match. War you games. Know. War games. Yeah. It's just I can't. Okay. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna announce it, but like I'm practicing because like it needs to be William Regal style or nothing. What's it, what's it called? It's called Game of War. Game of War. Don't sue us. It's War Games, right? <laughs> She's been Lisa Mayer. He's been John Jacobs. I've been Jack Milner. That was episode twenty-four of Mainly Wrestling Show. We'll see you all next week to see the wave, the Crockett. Royal Wave, more Crockett, early ninety, oh, early eighty-seven. Jack, this week, the Royal Come Wave. On. Shout out to Her Majesty. Ta-ra. Mm-hmm.